channel. I'm Dana Waldy, licensed esthetician and makeup artist, and today I'm really excited about today's topic. So this one is, is on facial cupping. This is something that caught me by surprise. I was actually I was actually pleasantly surprised by the results. So I recently purchased this facial cupping set on Amazon and I'm gonna zoom in here. So it's called the Facial Cupping Set. The brand is Rapunzel, and I'll put the link below. I got suckered into this. I saw, I think it was on an Instagram ad, and then I ended up purchasing it on Amazon. So it comes with a couple different supplies. It has this facial sponge um, right here, and then you get some of the the cups you get two of these the larger one which is meant for the face and then you get two of the smaller one which is meant for the smaller areas like around the eye area so this set was twenty dollars and again i was so shocked by the results i i'm almost like in disbelief because i was really skeptical i even did it once and didn't buy into it and then i did it again i recently did it and was shocked but we'll get into that so what is facial cupping? It's a form of acupuncture. Um, so I don't know if you've ever seen people who get cupping on the back where it leaves the bruises. It's the same concept for the face, but this leaves no bruises because we're not letting the cups sit. Because it's when, the only time it will cause bruising is when the facial cup sits on there for a period of time that draws out the bad blood, which are the toxins, and that's what actually causes bruising. So with this, we're gonna be moving along the face. It's not gonna cause any bruising. Um, and I'm just gonna go through a step-by-step -step on how to do it properly. So it says in the instructions to use this little brush to wash your face. Um, I don't recommend that. I just it didn't work for me. I think it's it just it's not enough. It's not about enough. I prefer facial sponges. So what you can use this for is to apply the facial oil. So I've started, I have cleanse, clean skin, so I washed my face, I toned it. So you want to apply an oil to the face first. You can use any oil. Today I'm just using the Eminence Rose Hip Triple C and E Firming Oil because um, I thought a firming oil would be nice. Since the cupping is meant um, for anti-aging, it's great for facial stimulation. So I'm gonna just apply the oil. You can use your hands, doing it everywhere. Or I've seen some other people use the brush. You can use the brush to just wipe in the oil all over your face nicely. I just prefer my hands. So let's jump right in. So you're gonna start with the larger piece um, and you're gonna go across the bottom. And the key to it is you're gonna go up out and down. You're gonna go up, out, and down, up, out, and down. So if you were to have this done professionally, I know that they tend to start kind of on the neck and in the chest area, because they wanna break up everything here, so when you're pushing out the fluid in the face, it has somewhere to go. But I'm just gonna start on the face. We're gonna go up, out, and down. Up, out, and down. Up out and down and you're just gonna keep doing that and you can see well you really gotta grab onto it up out and down just after one use can you see how red this got it's really causing a lot of stimulation and circulation which is it's what you want it helps with the facial muscles it's gonna help to release any toxins it's great for the lymphatic drainage um, and to really see good results you really have to do this for like a solid 10 minutes. And then on the forehead, you're gonna go like this. And you really wanna make sure you suction it really tight on the face. You can go up, out, and down, and over. And I'm really just gonna do it a couple times on the left side of my face so you can see how red it makes you which again it's what you want because you're really drawing all that blood to the surface and causing that that stimulation um, you can do it on the neck I did this last night on my neck and even behind my ear area and I was really surprised and this is gonna sound weird I did it so much that I felt like almost a taste in the back of my mouth like I could really feel the lymphatic drainage happening um, and then for the smaller areas, you can use this little guy here. You're going to use this around the eye area. Go like that. You can use it on the labial folds. They say this one, you can use it on the lips. 
and go like this. Honestly, I like the bigger one better. It's really gonna suck it. This is kind of like that Kylie Jenner trick where you go. And it just really plumps the lips up. That was just a quick tutorial on how you're gonna do facial cupping. If you're in a time crunch, I really recommend working both areas at the same side. It does come with two of them in there. I did this last night. I did it for a solid 20 minutes while I was watching TV and it was only when I did it for that solid 15 to 20 minutes. This morning I woke up and my skin felt so tight and firm. It just felt incredible. The first time I did it, I only did it for a couple minutes. I didn't buy into it. I didn't believe it. And then I gave it another try. I did it for a longer amount of time and it really, really worked. So this is something, again, this is kind of like one of those beauty hacks I was not buying into. Do it for 20 minutes and I swear to you, you will see the results. Your skin will be firm and plump the next day. And then just let the oil sit. I just rubbed it into my skin. I just rubbed it in and I just went to sleep and it woke up. I just felt like I had a, like a facial or something done. It felt incredible. Anyways, if you've tried facial cupping, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a comment. If you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friends and I can't wait to see you next.